All right, so we've got a scary looking word problem here, but we can solve it together. We can get through this. So let's start by reading it. it we know that a garden enthusiast wishes to fence in. Okay, so I'm going to underline garden enthusiast with green because it's green garden. It, it works for me. And we want to fence in three adjoining garden plots. I'm look at my picture here. Here's a plot right here. Here's a plot and there's a plot. So they want to build a fence around those plots. And they want to do it for each of, if it's a her, each of her children as shown below. So what do we know? We know each plot is to be 80 feet squared in area. All right, so each plot has a length and a width. And if we multiply the length by the width, we get 80 square feet. Okay, and that means, so in our case, length times width is 80. So W, the width, will have to equal 80 divided by L. Let's say I have an inverse operation there. And she has 88 feet of feet of fencing material at hand. So that's the perimeter. So the perimeter in this case, let's look at what we have. We have one, two, three, four lengths, and then one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six widths. So that tells me that whatever the length of each plot is, we have four of them. And then whatever the width is, we have six of them. Now width is 80 over L. And six times 80 over L has to equal, plus four lengths has to equal the total perimeter, which is 88. So we're solving this equation right here. Now I'm not too worried about L equaling zero here because we know that, well we can assume, I guess suppose, that we want to enclose a guard of some positive area. So I'm not too worried about dividing by L here. So I'm going to multiply everything by L. That will essentially cancel out the denominator, L, and I get 4L squared plus 6 times 80 is 480. Those L's cancel out, and then equals 88L. I'm going to rearrange this, so I get 4L squared minus 88L uh, plus 480. Oops, 480 equals 0. So I'm solving this quadratic equation, and I'm going to identify that A is 4, B is negative 88, and C is 480. So if I use the quadratic formula, that negative B plus or minus, X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A, right? I find that uh, here, I'm not solving it for X, but L, that L could equal uh, essentially two things. And so there are, there's more than one possibility for fencing in this garden. And I could get that L is 10 or 12. And if if the length is 10, then remember the length times width is 80, so the width would be 8. And if the length is 12, the width would be 80 divided by 12, which um, I think is a fraction. Yes, 6 and 2 thirds. So it also asks us to check them both to prove that you're correct. Well, what you can do to figure this out is plug in 10 into your perimeter formula, 4L plus 6 times 80 over L, and you'll get 88 because 4 times 10 is 40. 8 divided by 10 is 8, and 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 40 is 88. It works. And the same thing is true with 12, which is a little bit messier. 4 times 12 is 48, and then 6 times 80 over 12 is 40, and that sums to 88. So both of them work. All right, hope this helps.